Hey everybody, today we're taking a look at the Enphase IQ Smart EV Charger, which is probably the nicest EV charger that I've ever tested, but it's also the most expensive. So the question is, is it worth it? Now, taking a look at the CV charger, you'll notice the design is very similar to the Clipper Creek designs uh, from a couple of years ago. And the reason is because Enphase actually purchased Clipper Creek and rebranded all their EV chargers. Um, so underneath, this is basically a Clipper Creek uh, device. It does have access to the Enphase app. Uh, so you can do uh, scheduled charging, time of use charging. You can track your charges. Um, and if you have an Enphase solar array, you can also set it up to where it only charges using solar energy, which is pretty cool. Um, but it is a very high quality unit. It's quite large. It's got an integrated design here where you can hang the cables uh, over top of it. Um, it does have a very short input cable here, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, the, the 1450 connector looks good, um, but the way that it is, you don't have a lot of room to play with. And it's actually oriented upside down from most chargers. Um, so you'll want to make sure that the outlet is put in the correct location. But speaking of outlets, they do include... Make sure you guys can see this, a Hubble NEMA 1450 outlet with your charger, which is pretty nice. These are not cheap, and these are some of the best quality that you can get. So the fact that this is included is pretty awesome. Now, looking at the rest of the device here, we got nice long cables, and we have the nicest connector uh, that I've also ever seen on an EV charger that I've tested. This is their ruggedized uh, connector. It's very strong, built very, very well very high quality. It looks good. Um, and I, I like it a lot. It works really well with the car, um, connects well. Um, this is their 32 amp, uh, unit. Uh, they also have a 40 amp unit, uh, as well, which can be plugged in. And then they also have some higher amperages as well that you can get. Um, the 32 amp unit, uh, I did test it out with my EV6. It worked very well, charged at seven and a half kilowatts, which is what I would expect. Um, they do not offer the ability in the app, which is interesting to change the charge rate. So if you think you may only want to charge at 32 amps, maybe because you have a Hyundai Motor Group vehicle that has uh, issues at the higher amperages. Um, you can get the 32 amp version. Seven and a half kilowatts will charge most vehicles overnight still um, fully from zero to 100%. So no issues with speeds there. If you do want the additional speed, you can get, like I said, the 40 amp version, uh, which does give you an extra two kilowatts uh, charge rate. Um, but yeah, overall, very, very happy with it. It also comes with a holster here, uh, which I do like, uh, that helps protect it from the elements. So this is designed, uh, the unit is designed to be able to be used uh, indoors and outdoors. Uh, but this holster, when you put the connector in, it's a nice tight fit, uh, as you can see, and then it blocks um, weather and, and precipitation uh, from getting to it, which is nice. So uh, I do like that uh, a lot as well. It's definitely a very uh, complete solution uh, for your vehicle. Um, and it, like I said, it works very well with my EV6. Um, I like it a lot, and it's one that... Um, I think you should definitely consider if you want to make sure you get the best of the best, have the best quality. Um, I've seen tests from like the State of Charge YouTube channel where they've tested it at very high temperatures and it worked very well. They, um, Tom has a, a heat lamp that he, he does um, to, to get it really hot, still charged very well. He also puts the chargers in a deep freezer and the cables are still pliable, even well under uh, 32 degrees, well under freezing. So um, overall... I'm very pleased with it. I think it works great. But the thing is the price. So this is $800. Now, some of you may think to yourselves, rightly, uh, you could get a Emporia uh, unit for $400 that offers all the certifications. This is uh, ETL certified. Um, this is Energy Star certified. This has a five-year warranty, the Enphase does, um, which is great. So you know they back the product. It's been tested. It works well. But the Emporia unit also has... Uh, I think it's a three year warranty. They've also been certified. And like I said, it's $400 and it's a smart charger, um, very high quality and highly rated. So it's something to consider. Um, do you want to spend the extra 400 plus dollars, uh, on a unit like this when you can get an Emporia? That's up to you. I'll leave it to you. Um, personally, uh, I think this is great for somebody who just wants to make sure they have the best of the best and don't have to worry about it. And they don't mind spending the extra money. EVs are expensive. So, um, getting something that you know is going to work right and work well is important. The fact that this comes with the Hubble 1450 uh, outlet 
is great. Um, if you're a new EV owner, uh, you can get the charger, know that the outlet's going to come. You just got to get it wired in uh, by an electrician um, and you would be good to go. So um, I did not test when it comes to, to charging with my EV6. I charged it for a few hours. It charged great. I did not check the temperatures being that it is only a 32 amp unit. Um, I knew I wouldn't have any issues there. I have never had any issues with 32 amps uh, from any charger. Um, it's usually when I get up a high 30s or 40 amps uh, that I would see any kind of charging throttling uh, or heat issues. Um, and I knew I wouldn't have that with this. So I didn't check that with this. But um, like I said, overall, I like it a lot. Uh, the connector, I think, is one of my favorite parts uh, because it is very rugged. Um, Tom, again, on the State of Charge channel, uh, dropped it from high uh, high heights. Um, I think it was around six feet or so that he dropped it, and it, it stayed working great after that. Might have got a little scuffed up, but it still worked fine. Um, and I know it's designed to do that with this, this rugged ice. Um, finish on it and, and everything. So um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts on the price uh, and the features. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, I do want to say stay tuned because I'm also going to be testing out. It's not a smart charger, but I'm testing out their dual charger. So they have a dual charger and phase does a uh, dual charger that allows you to have, it has two 25 foot cables and it can charge one EV at up to 40 amps plugged into a NEMA 1450 outlet, or it can charge two EVs at 20 amps. It splits the charge, which is really nice because um, I have my EV6 and I also have a Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid. And there are definitely times when I'm charging and my wife would love to, to charge hers um, or vice versa. So um, I'm excited to test that out, see how it works, um, because I think that would be a great solution for homes uh, that have multiple electric vehicles or plug-in vehicles uh, in the household. So anyway, like I said, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys in the next video.